In just over a week, this spot behind me will be the newest 9-11 memorial in the Craven County area. A spot for us all to honor the lives sacrificed and lost and serve as a reminder for the younger generations. Recreating the World Trade Center here in Newburgh. Once complete, the memorial will include the north and south towers of the World Trade Center standing eight feet tall. A fireman's full uniform complete with boots, jacket and gloves that will stand three feet tall, as well as a Pentagon shaped sidewalk surrounding the memorial. Museum President David Finn says the fireman's helmet will be marked with the number 343, a number of significance. It was the largest uh, uh, event to take 343 New York City firefighters lives and police and EMTs. Finn says it's a reminder and a teaching tool for those who don't remember. Younger people coming through the museum really don't know what happened that day or it's kind of been slightly forgotten. I can remember those days after it every house in America had an American flag flying and uh, it meant a lot to a lot of people um, and I see that fading. This is the third 9-11 memorial in the Craven County area with one located in Fairfield Harbor and another in Havelock. I actually worked out of this fire station in my career. We always knew that it would make a great place to have a museum. And this empty lot, we decided what a better place to have a park where we can memorialize uh, those that have built the foundation before us and, and lost their lives. There's a lot of folks right here in Newburn that either had a loved one there or knew of somebody that was part of it. So it'll give them a place to come and reflect. The memorial's base has four sides, each with bold red statements that read September 11, 2001, Pentagon, Never Forget, and Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Now the official unveiling of the memorial will be held on Sunday, April 3rd in the afternoon so the lights can be displayed. Reporting in Newburn, I'm Emily Severidge, 9 on your side.